Nintendo. Hello, Cobrats, and welcome to another new Let's Play. I am Triclad Tamer. This other new Let's Play is Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story for the Nintendo DS. Partners in Time is on DS. That was my most recent Mario and Luigi LP a few years ago. And as you may know, I consider Superstar Saga, the first game, to be my favorite video game of all time. The remake was pretty good, but I like the nostalgic and charming feelings of the OG one. Not really blinded by nostalgic goggles, but my point stands. Here in Bowser's Inside Story, the third game, which is also getting a remake next year, but I'm playing the original one for now. Maybe I'll play the remake on stream or as another LP. My main goal for this LP is to affirm my appreciation for Bowser's Inside Story. I've only fully played it through one time, and of course, everybody loves the final boss theme. I am no exception. I just want to more solidify my appreciation for this game and see if I can make it brought higher up into my favorite Mario Luigi games. I haven't fully played Paper Jam and I did like Dream Team very much. I'm just doing the mic test here, my voice is quite ample. Speaking and judging by the levels that are going on, so seems good enough for me. We are ready to start this game, go into the file select. Take a brief look at my practice while, oh man, spoilers, you can play as Bowser and Bowser's Inside Story? And Mario and Luigi can go beyond level 1 as well? Oh man, what's even the point? Oh well, might as well start a new game. Let's go. Here is Toad Town, with very cheering music. That toad cannot swim because water is an invisible wall pretty much, and those blocks are there just taunting forever. Maybe we'll be able to go here for ourselves. What, are we playing as a young toad just like we did in Superstar Saga? Mom, I'm home! Well, hi there, sweetie. Home early today, huh? Miss Single Toad just wouldn't stop talking. Blah, blah, blah. So I snuck out and came home. You naughty little scamp. You'll never grow up into a fine toad with such bad behavior. Fine, Mom, whatever. So, is dinner ready yet? Yes, dear, it is. But call your dad before we eat. Okay. Dad, dinner's ready. Dad? What's dad doing? Is he doing illegal things? What is it, dear? It's dad. He's... He's thick! No, honey! The Blorbs! Mushroom Kingdom marred by mystery malady. The Blorbs. It comes without warning. First you balloon to blimp size. Then the rolling. You roll away. Oh, the horror of the Blorbs. As of press time, the cause and cure are unknown. Day by day, the number of Blorbed toads swells. Seeing how grave the situation is, Princess Peach convenes an emergency meeting at her castle. Meanwhile, at Peach's castle... Oh, how absolutely wretched! Such a thing has never happened in the history of the kingdom! It's not in the way of diseases. Soon the entire Mushroom Kingdom will get the Blorbs. We've got to find the cause and get this place back to normal. Yeah, obviously, but we've never dealt with something like this. I have absolutely no idea what to do. I suggest we panic! Pull yourself together, man. We have to do something. My son, he's also... He's also got the Blorbs. Ah. Princess, we still await. Yes, we've sent word to the Star Sprites for help, but we've got no response. Pardon me. Ah, glorious. I dare say our Star Sprite has arrived. Sorry I'm late. This castle's huge. Princess, this thing is... What? Nice to meet you. I'm Starlo. Peach sent word of trouble in the Mushroom Kingdom. So, as a representative of the Star Sprites, here I am. Hello, yellow! Mercy, such pep, such verve, such unswerving confidence. So you'll be able to simply cure the Blorbs then, correct? Oh, uh, well... About that. Herm, if this is even beyond the power of a Star Sprite... Well, I did some research on similar afflictions, but... The Blorbs is in a class of its own. It seems to be incurable. 
If we could just find a cause, we'd have a place to start. The medical staff did what we could to ease the swelling. But as far as we can tell, we can't reverse the effects. You docs gotta do something! This is a national emergency! Thanks for the news, Flash! Obviously we want to help! Psst, who is that over there? Dr. Toadley's intern. Dr. Toadley? He's a really famous doctor. He knows everything. He couldn't make it to today's meeting, so his intern is here. And is still angry. Hmm. Well, I have many patients, so you'll have to excuse me. We'll see you later. Blast! Doctors are stumped! The Star Sprite is helpless! To whom might we turn? Look, I'm really sorry, okay? There are some things that even the Star Sprite can't do. I guess we just give up, huh? Humph! <laughs> How insolent! Both of you, calm down. Yeah, what's wrong with you, Toadsworth? There is someone we could count on by Boogity! Hey, it's Toadbur, I remember you! Oh, quite right! Hope endures! So, uh, what's up? They're not here yet? The bros. That's the only time I'll say it like that, because that's befitting to Toad Burt. Hey, Mario, hurry, hurry! It's a me! And calling for Luigi, too. Why are you hobbling about? There's your red and white striped sock that got some controversy for the Superstar Saga remake. It's a meeting! Big meeting! You've got to hurry, please! Everyone's waiting, Mario, in the conference hall! Oh, Luigi came too. Super. Look, the conference hall is in back. Please hurry. Oh, but before you do, do you need an action icon refresher? Sure, how about it? No nods for me. Okay then, keep your peepers on the lower right of the screen. And not your little quadrant, or more like, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15th int. Those things are action icons. They represent the actions that you guys can perform. The ones you see right now show Luigi's and your jumps. But the thing is, those icons, when Mario, that's you, gets near stuff, those icons change. To the Pac-Man symbol. Like, say, Mario approaches someone he wants to talk to, well, the icon changes to this. Then you press A to get talking. Simple, right? Then it's all like, wing, zimboobity. So say Mario nears something a little sketchy, in that case, the icon changes to this. If you press A at that point, you'll take a closer look. At that snout. Watch for that icon to change, then make good use of A. Always remember that. Cool, what else? Oh, numbers under the icons. That's HP for you two. You know, your health. When that number gets too low, you're in big trouble, so both of you be careful, okay? I don't think there's gonna be extremely much of an issue. I do not need to hear that stuff again, so off with me. Oh, you're old pros, huh? Cool, get to it then. We are subjected to the ultimate torment of the lovely rendition of Peach's Castle, one of the better ones. Not that there are any bad ones. It's a pretty calm one. I do not need any sort of refreshers, as you were saying the same thing. I probably would have had to edit things out, but no, I want to listen to the music. Is that a, like a piranha plant style thing? Looks like I could bulb into one. <laughs> my 3DS screen is a little dirty. I mean, my 3DS is the same one I've had since 2011, at least the one I use the capture card on. If only I could get a more convenient new 3DS that sells capture card, but not like it's a big deal for a DS game. Hey there, the conference hall is just up ahead. Yep, everyone's in there, and I'm sure they're eager to see you. Of course, there are many toads working the grounds here, too. If you want to chat with anyone, you know the drill. Press A. To drill them? Oh, that's weird. You'll probably hear some juicy tidbits, or maybe not. Okay, can I talk to you now? Like gossip, then get chatty with folks by pressing A. You're saying the same thing. It's always like one extra line of dialogue in RPGs. And you're... a thick, nissated individual. Thick with the sick. Ugh, Mario! Phew, you'll fix me up, won't you? I can't wait, seriously, not a fan of the Borbs. I don't think anyone is, unless they're into four. That's gonna be kind of a theme in this game. Um, uh, well, okay, don't wanna talk too much about that. Well, hey, Luigi, long time, long time no see. What are you doing out and about today? Ah, uh, you know, I'm just stumping around getting some coin blocks with some coins inside them, of course. A lovely fountain of Princess Peach. Um, I don't wanna visualize the showers of liquid coming from her general vicinity. <laughs> Mario, how's the jump holding up to these days, okay? N are knees okay? Remember, use A for Mario and B for Luigi. Some basic stuff. A singular coin there. All the same stuff about the knees of the bees. No bees inside my house. Only yellow sack spiders had to get a second take at Pokemon Coliseum Episode 1 because of a spider that distracted me in the intro cutscene. But uh, this is the other LP. This is Beach's Castle, but you knew that already. Toad Tepson. 
let's just keep on going to the next room. I see a big save block there. Jumpable too. That engine that just passed by here. Man, she was cute. I could agree. Get some more coins there. You are blocking my way. Smash through the toes that bar your way. Uh, the comfort soul isn't over here this way anyway. So we have to go to the other side. Let's be Queen Tastic, even though Princess is a peach. See this? Yeah, save block. You still want to jump up to hit it. Trust me. Save whenever you can. Gives you peace of mind. Save often to save your sanity. Unless you're doing a let's play and things might get a little messed up in the process of things. You might have to redo stuff more than you would expect to. My uncle used to say stuff like that all the time. Oh, Luigi, you can do this stuff too. Usually there are things that you can speed up with LNR that are a little noobs flashy, but usually it shows up before you do it, but then once you start saving, it changes the text and you can't read all the way through. So, once I clear my throat, I'm going to give it a good read. Mario and Luigi, just the sound of them makes me queasy. Head to an emergency meeting at Peach's Castle. Okay, just press that B button and get back to the game. Do -de -de do this totally over here. Not Dr. Totally. Heading to the conference hall. The meeting already started. We are always fashionably late. Hello, everyone. It's like a giant magnet, that round table, or you table. Ah, Master Mario and Master Luigi. We've awaited your arrival. Let us resume the meeting. Meet we shall. The brothers on opposite sides. Now then, going on what little information we've unearthed. Because maybe a mushroom was sold by a local merchant. Oh dear, a mushroom. You mean to tell me that a mushroom causes the blorbs? On mushroom people? Well yeah, we interviewed all the blorb toads we could. And they all said they'd bought blorb mushrooms. What about that? Blorb mushrooms. Perplexing. Not a local variety. Of that I'm quite sure. What sort of rap scallion would sell such a thing? Inflections. Well, according to one witness, it was a fellow in a cape. All signs point to the suspect not being from this kingdom. Oh my god, is it Prince Peasley? Well, whoever he is, he's our only lead. So it's decided. Let's go find him. Master Mario, Master Luigi, your hour is at hand. Go forth and stomp this fellow as if he were Bowser. Yahoo! Did someone just page the King of Awesome? I mean, technically we did. Peach! So I'm an outcast, huh? What did I do to deserve this? Thank you, Bowser. That actually makes it look a little better. I was uncomfortable by the empty space in the middle where you're standing. What are you doing here? We're in an important meeting. The kingdom's in danger. Gee, pardon me. Guess what? I live here, your royal genius. I've got as much right to be in this meeting as anyone. I mean, right? Help me out here. Toesworth, back me up. That, um, that's... Well, don't be ridiculous. You have no right to be here. Get out. Good timing. Crud! Thank you for talking for me. Are you seriously trying to start with me again? I hear about this big meeting, and I'm already tech nice. But man, the second I see your face, Mr. Nice Bowser is gone. Yeah, forget your dumb meeting. I'll pummel you and grab Peach. Let's go. Time for battle. Master Mario. Your first battle in some time. Shall I refresh you on attacks? Sure, how about it, just to get the tutorials out of the way. Ahem! Now then, choose the jump command block to attack. Command block is like a weird combination of things. Let's confirm our target, and we HALT right here! And press A here as well. Kaboom! And hey, I pulled off the excellent command that he's gonna also teach us about. <laughs> I need to work on my timing because I don't play this game a lot. I only did an hour or so of practice. He says stuff there, basic stuff about tutorials. Hey, I'm two for two now. And here comes some dodging, I believe. I must mention one vital bit. When you attack with a jump, you can stomp your foe twice. Shall I explain that? Not any crazy explanations are needed. I do the same thing for halting right here. This impact is only the first one. Then I halt again while Mario is making a very derpy mouth opening face. And get ready for an excellent stomping there. <laughs> yep, this mechanic is a mainstay in the series from here on out. Even in the Superstar Saga remake, and I'm sure it would be the same in the Partners in Time remake. If they didn't skip the game, maybe it's going to be on the Switch and represent a return of the troops for a larger adventure. Uh, no more explanations further. No need to repeat myself. So I messed up one of them so far, and there's another excellent. I had a feeling it was going to become great, but uh, I think I'm getting the hang of it a little more. When you attack with the jump, press the button twice to do things with good timing. Out of the way! 
Bowser is always impatient in these fights, even in his baby form, I believe, when younger Toadsworth was doing some explanations. Kabooski! Uh, Luigi doesn't even care, he's just sleeping in the corner. He needs his beauty boy rest. Master Mario! Oh, this is crucial! You can dodge Bowser's attacks! Care to hear about attack evasion? Why not? It's a free dodge, if you ask me. No, Master Bowser, attack if you please! Shut up! I'll burn you too, Blabby! Well, Toadsworth, if you know how to dodge, why don't you do so yourself? Halt! Press A here. I, mean, I guess he did dodge by going out of the plane of attack. If you jump and dodge at foe's attack as you just did, you'll escape damage. Time your jump well with your foe's attack. Remember this. And of course, enemies that try to make physical contact can be counter-attack for damage. Just no flames like Bowser's in here. But of course, we're gonna see plenty of tutorials for such related things. Kaboom! Oh yeah, a lucky hit to give me an extra HP of damage there. Master Mario! Jump and dodge your foe's attack as you just did. You'll escape damage. When avoiding the foe's attack with jump, time to jump well. Oh, yeah. It's like you're repeating yourself. Off you go from this screen. <laughs> My fingers are getting a little tired because I'm not used to holding this small 3DS. And Luigi is just snoozing away. Yeah, I didn't want to finish the battle with only a great attack. Come on, I gotta finish things off with a bang like that, a big bang. This is Bowser's Inside Story where it's they're pretty tough. They, should we be careful instead of big bang? Did doom another excellent. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely making you get a feel for things. Quite a long first battle in this game, but at least we get to enjoy the accordion style music that is prevalent in this game. And down Bowser goes. What happened? Where are my skills? That was not my A game. Well, technically you don't really use the A button very much. I mean, I've lost before, but not that easily. The power of heart stamp. Yes, it was my star power and Peach's wish power. It weakened you, didn't it? Some Paper Mario stuff here. Whoa. What? Alright, Peach. Let's clean up this mess. Not fix the table. Up Bowser goes, and away he goes. At least he flew away at an angle and didn't break my screen early on. Thank you, Mario. <laughs> you saved me once again. Thank you. <sighs> All in a day's work. Thank you for watching this Let's Play I've Been Tracklight Tamer, and what's this? It's time to see the Bowser side of things. Hey! Hey! Wake up! You're being a little persistent, are you? But at least it's working, because persistence is key. That ought to fix you up. Those guys make me so mad! Yeah, it is not in like this. I'm going back to that castle and kidnapping Peach for real. Unless Mario's there, in which case he'll once again kick- DON'T SAY THAT NAME! Just thinking about it makes me rage! Well, chill out. Ride a broom, man. It makes it so high. I'll chill nothing! I'm going to Peach's Castle right now! And, uh, where is Peach's Castle? Wait, where am I anyway? Well, shouldn't you know, this is indeed the Mushroom Kingdom with this ever-changing landscape. This is Dimble Wood with the fun little xylophone marimba music. There's an X marks the spot there. Just to keep in mind. Now for some tutorials. Your surliness. Surl-tastic. There's a ton of boulders scattered around here. Use X to shatter them and you can find a way through. Sounds like that can be something fun to work with as we play as Bowser here. Not a foreign concept, we played as Sam and Mario RPG, we played as Sam and Super Paper Mario, and of course, this is pretty much the titular game for Bowser here. Do some destruction, even though I think it's gonna reappear because we can't break our way through here. Bowser doesn't have an A button to jump with, it's only for advancing dialogue, because Bowser can only do so much with his big, lunky, spiky, turtle-y-ness. Down to this screen. Your grouchiness! <laughs> trying to solidify what to do with Kamek's voice, some sort of slurry thing. This is a pretty dense forest. You ought to be able to use Y to burn trees with your fire. Careful though, if you breathe flames for too long, you'll get all tuckered out. Tucker Kamekson? A Mushroom Kingdom news host? Yep, just keep on holding that Y button and you can see how Bowser gets tired out. Just gotta do a simple flim flamin' to keep it convenient enough for you. Custom deforestation, because who cares about it? I mean, there could be overforestation, you want to keep it in control. What's that hooded figure? I'm sure it's nothing. A winner is you! What are you yaying about? What? Win what? 
Jackpotting! Your burliness, what's going on? The customer has luck! And with luckiness comes the tasty lucky shroom! A lucky shroom? I didn't even buy anything! What's this about jackpotting? Do not have worries for details! No, do not have the worries! Have the wonderful lucky shroom of tastiness instead! Scoff this down and your luck will power up to super luck! Also a good Pokemon ability for high critical hit chance. Luck enough to beat Mario! Beat Mario? Seriously? I say to you, yes! With every attack, Lucky Hits will shower in a happy waterfall. You will have such fury. Your strongest enemies will fold like napkins who are crying. Your beefiness. Dude is weird. Don't eat that thing seriously. What, didn't you hear him? It'll help me beat Mario, duh. Bowser's the type of guy to buy anything from an infomercial. You, weirdo, give me that lucky shroom. Oh yes, of course. Enjoy the eating. You got a lucky mushroom. Well, down the hatch. No time to waste. <sighs> What's wrong? Your queasiness. I told you not to snack on that thing. Hey, you creepy little weasel. What did you feed Bowser? Now the big reveal. It is Fuffle! Such easiness! So easy it gives me the gleeful chortles! I have such strategy! And now for the leaving. You are having a date with Peach's Castle. Well, I mean, Bowser was wanting to do so anyway. Hey, we see all that in the remake trailer. Probably gonna be talking about that a lot. Soaking up anything in his path. Even more so in this game. But it's been a theme where we suck stuff up as Bowser. Well, that's one way to break up a meeting. Literally like the U-shaped table. Seems like it's pretty much adjourned by Boogity. Should we cancel it? Huh, young man, we're facing a national emergency. If we cancel the meeting, nothing will get solved. Absolutely, the Florbs are more pressing than Bowser. The meeting must go on. Mercy, you are the princess. Take heed, gentlemen and star. That's how one does things. But we surely can't use this ravaged room anymore. Shall we continue someplace the touchless demolished? Okay, we might as well get headed out that way. You zoomed away. Oh no, it's the Horfer. And many disappearances are taking place, shrinking down to size because scaling is not an issue. He's wharfing once again. The fisherman's wharf, like the walkway along the water, then there's a jetty, it's like a man-made one that goes out, or is that a natural one? Here's a man-made. Luigi, you can't be an exception yourself, even if you try to swim in the air. Doesn't that make your health go down in Mario Galaxy? So, you gotta tug her out eventually. Seems Bowser's the chuckered one here. I have victory! Easy as bread sandwiches! And now for the proceeding with the plan I have planned. Midbus, come! Fawful calls you! Of course, Lord Fawful. Who is this Midbus character? I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Meanwhile, Amario is getting all banged around in his small size, going into Bowser. Quite the inside story we got going on here. Not even trying to make that a pun because that's the title of the game. And in other languages it's called something like Journey to the Center of Bowser, which is also pretty fun. Like the movie with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> and while in Bowser, we have 2D stuff going on. That's how the mechanics are. On the top screen we got Bowser in a black void. Is Mario looking out to see Bowser over there, even though he's within Bowser. <laughs> I feel like you should be able to crouch, but there's no crouching animation. There's just a pipe there. I'm probably just gonna be focusing on the bottom screen now, because it's just Bowser on the top screen. Do 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 our jumping around. I enjoy this music because there's like the overarching pipe organ in the background. Probably not necessarily a pipe organ. I'm just gonna just show something off because if you do your platforming, if you fall into the lard, you teleport your way back out. You don't lose HP for doing so though, it's just a minor inconvenience. Speaking of minor inconveniences, we have to do some platforming to rearrange ourselves to get those three mushrooms from that block there. That bony block. Here's a different kind of block. 
What in the name of Globin? Strange to meet you, old visitor. Some call me an emo Globin. A secretish things in the body of Bowser, I know them all. Emo Globin, but you're yellow. <laughs> Sorry, that's kind of sensitive. I can impart this knowledge to you if you have the Globin. And I have emo Globin brethren. Hit them, old jumpish creature. Being struck bothers us none, for such is the way of Globin. Anyway, oh traveler, about what are you curious? The nature of Globin? The meaning of Globin? Burst! I told you nothing! But I will let you save, since your Globin reminds me of me. Of your own Globin? Want to save your Globin? I shall say yes to that Globin. And, yeah, it's kind of inconvenient the way things are, because you have to, like, rush to the thing. Mario got inhaled into Bowser's body, what next? I think that's just the last bit of the text there. By the way, oh traveler, like all things in life, I am temporary, so be careful-ish. Okay, we saved our game there, and we continue along. Ooh, 26, 11, and things. Kind of record time. Hey, let me go! Now, release me! Urgh. Not how you treat a lady. Yeah, yeah, quit it! That tickles! Quit it! Obviously, she's not much of a laugher for tickling. Now! Quite the situation this is. Hmm, indeed, Mario. There's a single outstretched thing. Globin! I am a wandering emo Globin. I come bearing knowledge. You come bearing gifts? That would be helpful. Even though I don't need so many mushrooms in this game. Oh, strange pipish thing I see. How it long to press down upon you to sink down below. For then I might fly skyward, or perhaps travel to far places. There are many pipish types. Oh, traveler, when you find a pipish thing, please press down. Remember, or be forever Globin. And not to spit on your 3DS screen, no, but just happened as soon as I said that. See you, Globin. I'll see you, Globin, as well. Let's do the thing. Hey, it's like New Super Mario Brothers, we do the wee hee hee thing, but Mario is more nonchalant about it. It's like, wahoo, I am Mario, I do things. Is it gonna be 31 is number two, because we're making this one like that? <laughs> it's just, of course, here to get us used to such a concept. So we go to the middle one, you can't jump straight over to it, because it's just enough out of the way. There we go. You got Starlo. Mario, you saved me. Don't give me a kiss, you star bomb. I'll be first need for that. Watch out, here it comes. It is battle time yet again. Well, it's only really the second time now. Okay, I gotta work on the timing of that because a singular charge is a little weird. Oh, wow, it's only a normal jump there. Mario. Mm. Mm. I was watching that monster attack and noticed something. I think you can deal a counterattack to that thing. Yes, I would love to do a counterattack, and I'm gonna say, yes, teach me for a counterattack so I can get the free one out of it for this very difficult globule, gooble enemy. So first of all, study your foe's movements. Okay, here it comes, and now! It's when we press A to jump now, whoa! Yeah, that's it, just like that. You can counterattack most foes' physical attacks. Study their approach well and time that counterattack as best as you can. Next, I better explain the numbers set to this heart mark over here. Yeah. Alright, this HP represents your physical health. When you take damage from a monster, this number goes down. Okay. When your HP hits zero, you pass out and can no longer attack. When your HP gets low, select item from the command blocks, okay? In this case, you have a mushroom in your item area to restore that HP. Yeah. Not like you really need to so crazily heal. Okay, let's be better about this. There we go, there's our excellent movement. Oh yeah, I forgot this part. You can also run from battle. When you want to run away, choose flee from the command blocks above you. Don't play too often though, since you tend to drop coins as you flee the battle. Oh, and if you press A quickly over and over, you can flee faster, remember that. Standard fare for Mario and Luigi games. We have won this battle and are gaining our first DXP. Three of them in fact, and a couple of coins to boot. Out to this battle, all shall fade, all shall fade. Doing that, make some rearrangement of Bowser Curve, there's gonna be a lot of that. Thank you so much for saving me, Mario. My pleasure. I'm pretty sure I said that Pokemon Coliseum. What was that about sobriety, Mario? Hmm. I'm pretty sure we're inside Bowser's body. You think? After Bowser inhaled me, I woke up and wandered around. And then that amoeba thing grabbed me out of the blue. What about simplicating? Like simple and complicated? Hmm? The others? I don't know. I didn't even really understand I'd been inhaled until I realized I might be inside Bowser. Slow way, eh, Starlo. I bet everyone else is in here somewhere, but right now I have no clue where anyone is. Mm. Makes you think. Yeah, definitely inside Bowser. 
Who knows how in the world that happened, but one thing's for sure. If we don't find the other soon, we're all in big trouble. What about a potato? Yeah, you're right. We better just press on. Someone might be nearby. And pressing on shall take place next time in Let's Play Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. I'm just gonna keep it simple as a walk back and forth and say that until next time where we continue to get the hang of being inside Bowser. Do not toast yourself, and remember, it's what's on the inside that counts. <laughs>